Okay. So for naming inorganic acids, you really do need to know your polyatomic iron names. It's going to make things a lot easier. And I'll tell you why. Because basically, well, for a binary acid, okay, so that would be something like HCl, for example, all you do is you say hydro and then whatever the element is. So element, <laughs> ic acid okay um so something like hcl then you would say hydrochloric acid so that's easy right chloric acid hbr would be hydrobromic acid hi would be hydroiodic acid etc if it's an oxy acid the name is derived from the anion name polyatomic anion name. So the easy thing to remember is that an 8 uh, anion ending goes to an ic acid ending. <laughs> so what do I mean, for example? So say I had the nitrate ion, NO3 minus. If it was an acid, so it's become attached to an H plus. <laughs> so H plus and NO3 minus is going to give me HNO3. That is what we'd call nitric acid. So see the eight from the nitrate ion has gone to the ic for nitric acid. Okay. If it has got the it anion ending, <laughs> that is going to go to the us acid ending. Okay. So if you haven't learned them all, now would be a really good time. So if, say we had the nitrite ion, NO2 minus, we would form the acid. Well, H plus and NO2 minus would just form HNO2, and that would be nitrous acid. Okay. So what about um, those oxyhalide acids? Well, remember, we had things like chlorate and chlorite, but they could also have one more or one less. So it's the same thing, right? So if we have like um, chlorate, chlorate, CLO3, I really can't type today, minus, that would give us chloric acid. Chloric acid. If we had chlorite, <laughs> ClO2 minus, stick an H on it, that would give us chlorous acid chlorous acid but remember we can have one more oxygen or one less oxygen and we use prefixes for that we would still use the same prefix when we have the acid so remember the prefix was per chlorate if we have more than one oxygen um one more oxygen than the the chlorate so the acid then would be hclo4 which would be per chloric acid Okay, if we had one less oxygen than the chloride ion, that'd be ClO minus, and we called that hypochlorite. Chlorite. Um, so stick an H plus on it, it's HClO, that would be hypochlorous acid. So we still keep the same prefixes. Hypochlorous, that's uh, the acid I spelled. I knew I spelled something wrong. So, like for these guys, then HNO2, that is going to be nitric acid. H2S is going to follow the binary uh, rule. So, that is going to be hydro sulfuric acid. H2SO3, well, SO3, two minus is uh, the sulfite ion. So, that would be sulfurous acid. Okay, so SO. 3, 2 minus is sulfite. This is an FYI. HClO3 will be chloric acid coming from ClO3 minus being the chlorate ion. Okay, so let's do another one, see what else can be thrown at us. Uh, oh, that is different. Okay. <laughs> All right. Where's my eraser? All right. So HClO2 then. ClO2 minus is the chlorate ion. So chlorite ion. So this is chlorous acid. Okay. Because ClO2 minus is the chlorite. Chlorite ion. 
HF will be hydrofluoric acid. H2SO3, we've already done it, be sulfurous acid. Sulfuric acid is H2SO4, right? Because SO4 2 minus is the sulfate ion. Uh, so 8 goes to ic, that would be sulfuric acid. So sulfurous acid. And then HNO3 would be nitric acid. All right, so just keep practicing those. That's pretty much if you learn your polyatomic ions, you'll be really close. Just remember ic goes to uh, a and us goes to it or vice versa.